Welcome back guys, JC here, and here's how you connect the X4RSB to the SP Racing EVO Fly Controller. I'll be leaving links to my X4R uh, EVO and Trans playlist in the top right of your screen, also in the description below, so check those out for other helpful videos. If we look at the EVO Fly Controller, here are the input pins. If you look on the back side, you'll see ground, 5 volt, R2, which stands for UART number two receive or PPM. The next one is uh, the UART number two transmit or telemetry. And uh, then the VBAT pins, which I made a separate video on how to get voltage in your telemetry using the VBAT pins, uh, which is also in that playlist. So what I've done is take a three wire servo cable and I soldered it on in that order with ground first, then power, then the signal wire, uh, to where it says PPM, but the thing is, this is a SBUS receiver, and SBUS requires a UART port, but like we saw on the back side, uh, well, specifically it requires a receive on a UART port, and the PPM pin is also the receive for UART number two. Now for the receiver, mine looks different from yours, so I will use a D4R2. Uh, they're almost exactly the same, so just pretend that this is an X4R. Uh, the difference is the, the pin out. If you look on the, your X4R, uh, you will see this pin here is the SBUS pin, then power, then ground. So you will just take this three wire servo cable and plug it in in that order. Also notice that I'm using the back pins, not the front pins, because the front pins are actually channel number one. Uh, and make sure you have it in the right order with signal on the outside, ground on the inside. Now for telemetry. The telemetry also requires a UART port, but it requires a transmit. Now this next pin is transmit for UART number two, but UARTs can only do one thing at a time. So we are already using it for SBUS, therefore we can't use it for telemetry. We have to use a different UART. You have UART number one right here, and UART number three right here. I am going to, the only reason I picked UART number one is because uh, we just have the transmit and receive pins where UART three has those two plus a positive and ground. So if I were to add in an on-screen display, I would want to add it in to UART number three. So I will use UART one for my telemetry. Uh, and like I said, it takes a transmit pin. So you will see where uh, it says T1 on this pin. So I soldered my wire onto T1. Now for your X4 RSB, because like I said, mine's different, um, you should have received a 4-pin, uh, 4-wire four four connector that came with it. What you want to do is, uh, I've removed the three wires that we don't need. The only wire that we need is this one on the corner. So you can either cut them off or use a razor blade to lift the tabs up and pull them out individually. And that will give you something like this. Then just take this wire and solder solder it on to that uh, T1. So here's what mine looks like because mine has been through hell and back. I've repaired it so many times. So now we just want to take a USB cable, plug it in. That's going to power the fly controller and receiver both. At this point, if you have not yet bound your receiver, you need to do that before continuing. Just look at the X4R or Tyrannus playlist, either one, and you will find my video on how to bind this receiver. I've already bound mine, so once I turn my transmitter on... Hey JC, welcome back. Cheat mode active. I now get the solid green light, meaning that it's been properly bound and everything is working. Once you get the solid green light, you can continue. Now we just want to go into beta flight or clean flight, either one, it doesn't matter. I prefer beta flight. Eh, beta flight. We'll go to ports first. Because we put the telemetry wire on UART number one, what we want to do is uh, turn off the data for UART number one, because like I said, UART ports can only do one thing at a time. Then come over here to telemetry, and even though this is a free sky receiver, this is two different types of telemetry. The X4R SB uses smart port telemetry, so choose smart port. And then because we are using UART number two for SBUS, come over here to RX and turn on Serial RX. Then save and reboot. 
Now go to configuration, scroll down, and you want to choose RX serial because that's what SBUS is. Then down here choose what type of serial, which is SBUS. Scroll down some more and make sure you have telemetry turned on. Then save and reboot. Everything should be working now, so let's just test it. Go to receiver and move your joysticks around. Roll pitch y'all and throttle should be moving on your screen. If you have created any switches, you can test them out now. Things are about to get real. Hybrid mode. Stunt mode active. Cheat mode active. Okay, everything's working there. Now in the Tyrannus, press the menu button to go to your model. Hold the page button down to go backwards a page to telemetry. Scroll down and discover new sensors. After it's done finding all the sensors, press enter again to stop discovery. And there you are. Now, like I said, check out my video to see how to get voltage in your telemetry. It's not going to show up until you, you uh, do something with the VBAT pins. If you are only seeing four sensors, then here's why. The telemetry comes from two different places, the flight controller and receiver both. Those four sensors come from the receiver, and you will always get those four sensors as long as the receiver is getting power. Even if you have the telemetry wire, if it's not connected to anything at all, you will still get those four sensors. This means that your telemetry is not working at all. Uh, and really the only cause for this is uh, you just have to go back and recheck everything. Recheck your wiring, recheck your configuration changes in beta flight or clean flight. Um, make sure everything's saved because sometimes some things don't save. Uh, but that's really it. That's, that's going to be the only cause. But that does it for this one, guys. Like I said, check out those other playlists for the other videos, and I will see you there.